first hierarchy probably will be Beijing residency, I feel. Mm-hmm. And the second will be age. Mm-hmm. And then probably will be your education background. So they asked me, are you a Beijing niece? No one asked me that question. No one asked me that question. Huh? Hi, welcome, welcome to, to the Juju Show. Show. And I'm Ting Ting. I'm Jack. Shirley. Yeah. So in our show, we will bring you the difference of the culture between the West and the East. And today, we also will talk about something really interesting. And I heard that you guys this morning you done something really fun, right? You yeah. heard right. <laughs> we did. We went to the matchmaking corner. So matchmaking corner is where you have all these parents of、uh, not kids but like adults really already, and they come to. There's multiple matchmaking corners all around China, typically in parks, and they all show up here and meet with other parents that are also looking for、mm-hmm. partners for their kids. And you guys join the game, right? <laughs> yeah. So that was like something that was kind of different、uh-huh. because typically it's the parents、mm-hmm. of the kids that go, and they come with like their kids,、uh, almost like a resume kind of thing,、mm-hmm. and bring it to the park. But we went ourselves, like selling ourselves almost, and it's kind of weird.、Uh, <laughs> but I mean, I can't really bring my mom to go do it for me, so. It says I'm 30. I'm actually 25 though. I put 30 because if I'm 25, I'm too really too young for this event, <laughs> kind of. My age now here I put down 26 because I think in the most part of the Chinese culture we think girls or women like older than 25 can be considered a little bit anxious in a. Matchmaking game, so I put 26,、mm-hmm. but on the record, I'm way younger than this. <laughs> okay, okay. Let it be known. How was it like in this morning's the matchmaking corner? How, what 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 happened? I guess a lot of things happened. I talked to a lot of different people about a lot of different things. When I first got there, like I walked up,、um, and I just started talking. Like I would go, and they have like so you see, I have my. Like date resume here,、um, you go there, and a lot of these date resumes are like placed on the ground, or they're like propped up on something, and you just look at that. And then I guess the parents are maybe like in the corner, like waiting to see who looks at their resume, or maybe I think some of them have like contact info on it.、Um, but I go there and I'm looking at this, and then naturally I just start talking to some of the parents there. And for the most part, like there was all tons of them talking to me, and they were all very interested in me, but. None of them, or the vast majority of them, would not seriously consider me. I mean, I wrote 30, but even 30 is too young, because a lot of them are 30 to 40. And I think in China, at least, that they kind of prefer that the male is older, or at least very close in age. Another reason is foreign.、Uh, they would always ask me, and they'll be like. Or、are you gonna like try and take her back to America or something? <laughs> or are you gonna like when are you, are you gonna just leave or something? Why is it? No, the phone still has to return to China. You got some Chinese people? You got some what? Is it exchange or is it an exchange? Beijing welcomes you. How do you say Chinese? So I would tell them I'm like, no, I'm in China for the foreseeable future. But still, like, and then a lot of them would bring up the idea like the cultures are different and stuff. Like, you know, there's still culture differences. And none of them would really flat out refuse me or be like no, but you could tell they were like、oh, I don't. <laughs> They're like I don't know about this guy, and they would kind of like find a chance to just like leave. <laughs> also, another reason why they don't consider me that much is because I don't have a car and I don't have a house, <laughs> which are important things for marriage in China for for a lot of yeah, parents. Yeah, that well, really matters. If a guy can have a house or a car, that. That sounds good, and、mm-hmm. you can go up on the hierarchy of the marriage. But if you、yeah. have nothing, then you... the marriage chain. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I'm quite surprised because like tons of old ladies are super interested in me. I thought like 26 is an age should be anxious about, but not at all at the market. And they think 26 is quite young, and they just ask me why I'm here. I, I was like,、uh, probably I'm just too tall to find a boyfriend. So well, that that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, because the other thing they're constantly talk about was that. How tall are you? And I was like, uh, one seventy four. And they were、mm-hmm. like, oh my god. <laughs> and another thing I was constantly asked about is they asked me, 
are you a Beijingese or are yeah. you from Beijing or do you? Yeah. No one asked me that question. No one asked me that question. Huh? Yeah. Why didn't ask me that? Obviously, you're not local Beijingese. <laughs> I think they want to find out if you got a Beijing residency. That is the thing, Beijing Hukou. Why? Why do you think it is though that they want someone who has a Beijing, Beijing residency? You have the privilege to buy a house or you buy a car,、mm. uh, and also when you married, you can get the condition to、uh, let your children go to.、Uh, To the, like a public school, something.、Oh. So you have much advantages with the like the official long-term residence permission of Beijing.、Right. So, what do you think is the idol, a daughter-in-law or son-in-law for these elder parents in China? The first hierarchy probably will be Beijing residency, I feel,、mm-hmm. and the second will be age. And then probably will be your education background. But for girls, I think that that's it. So for the guy, I would think that a big one is most of it revolves around money. I would say、um, to like put it to put it simply,、um, which I mean makes sense, I guess.、Um, like they would want to know if you have a car, if you have a house. Um, they would ask me how much I make. But there is a funny thing I found out today because a, a old lady told me that the successful rate of the matchmaking market is only one out of a、Ooh. thousand. So、mm-hmm. you can barely, barely actually get a marriage from there. But they're still going. So why? I feel one reason is like old people are just hanging out there, and at the same time they are kind of caring for their kids and just to. Soothes that anxiety. Their kids are too busy、mm-hmm. to find a girlfriend or a boyfriend. And the parents, they just want to give their kid more chances and opportunities、oh, yeah. and some ideas, maybe. But they all, they pretty much all say, like, you know, at the end of the day, it really just depends on the kid. So okay, with this morning's experience, how do you feel? Like, can you accept this kind of thing if your parents? Arrange a blind date for you. I can accept being set up for a blind date, but、mm. definitely not from a <laughs> matchmaking market. Well, for one, I don't think my parents ever would do that because <laughs> <laughs>、yes. my parents don't really care if I get married or not, at least at the moment. If they did, I don't think I'd be a big fan of it.、Um, not really because I think it's like embarrassing or anything, but I just don't. Trust my parents to find me the person I like. <laughs> It's more feel like I'm being tagged based on my education attainment, my、mm. social, economic status. <laughs> It's more like I'm not a real person. Yeah. It's just very on the surface, very superficial. Like,、um, at least for、uh, you know, in the past it was different, of course. But at least for most young people nowadays, it's more about like, do I like this person、mm. yeah. on a personal level? For me, it's also. <laughs> Yeah, it did happen. After twenty-five,、um, I can feel all the pressure. Your parents will be like, "What are you waiting for?" It's quite common that in maybe in the Chinese context, you can feel the pressure from the whole society. I feel people are getting higher education, yeah, attainment, and they're busy with with their jobs. So、yes. I think they just got less time to. <laughs> Think about getting into marriage. I value more about the things I can achieve in my life. Something about the career、mm. and something you can do like your dream, not just marriage. And I also believe marriage is my own personal choice, and it should be only made by myself. Okay, so with all the discussion, we could find that the young generation holds totally different views about the marriage and the relationship, and we can see that the parents also have the good wishes for their children, and they have good intentions.、Mm. But finally, I think anyway, the young people will make their own choice. Yeah, at the end of the day, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's all for today's show. Um, if you guys like the content and want to hear and watch more about life in China, culture, and all that, make sure to subscribe and send us a like.